That's fun. So this is to demonstrate the collection of hair for um, uh, our hair collection studies, and this will be demonstrating the collection of 20 pieces of hair for um, protease inhibitors and NNRTIs. So just to show you the materials, we have a clean pair of scissors and some alcohol swabs to clean them off between patients. Then we have some pre-made stickers that will actually be used to label the hair, the piece of hair after collection. And then we have a piece of tin foil that has already been pre-labeled on the outside with the patient's ID label. And we'll be using that to put the hair inside. And then we have a plastic bag, which will eventually put the tin foil in. And that plastic bag contains a desiccant pellet. So I'm now going to demonstrate the collection of the hair. So first I will wipe off the blades of the scissors using an alcohol swab and I'll do this between patients. Then I'm going to come over to the patient and I plan to just collect 20 strands of hair and I want to actually collect these strands from underneath the top layer of hair. So I will lift up the top layer of hair using my fingers and if easier you may want to use a clip to hold back this top layer of hair. I will then isolate a thatch of hair from underneath this top layer of hair and estimate about 20 hairs. And obviously um, depending on the texture and curl of the hair it may be a little harder to isolate. And Okay, so here I have 20 strands of hair and again from underneath the top layer and probably here we have 20 strands of hair and I'm going to take the scissors and I'm going to put them on the outside of the hair and then I'm going to slide them down to the very very base of the scalp because I want to cut as proximal to the scalp as possible. So I slide them down to the very scalp and then I cut as closely as possible to the scalp. And now I have my 20 strands of hair. I'm going to keep my fingers on the distal end and bring it back over to my piece of tin foil. And then I'm going to remember to put it down such that I will label the distal end. So remember the proximal end is what's to be analyzed in the study, so that will be left free from the label. I will then take my label and purely label the distal end, so sticking it close to the tin foil, leaving the proximal end free, proximal end of course being closest to the scalp, and then I will fold over the piece of tin foil to enclose the hair, and then I'll put that piece of tin foil into my plastic bag with a desiccant pellet. And that's it for hair collection. Thank you.